In this episode, we're going to show you how to ride the Shinkansen bullet trains on the most popular route in Japan, which is also known as the Golden Route, and it starts in Tokyo and continues on to Kyoto and ends in Osaka. In a separate video, we'll show you how to purchase these tickets individually on the same route. But right now, while the price of the JR Pass is still low, it is the most cost-effective and easy way to ride the trains in Japan. Step one, plan your route. We've already decided that we will be traveling from Tokyo, continuing to Kyoto with the final destination in Osaka. Now we need to figure out how to get there using the Shinkansen bullet trains. The Shinkansen line that will take us to our destination is called the Tokaido Shinkansen line. It is important to know the name of the Shinkansen line because once you're at the train station, this is how they separate the Shinkansen trains into groups at the platform by the train lines. You probably won't see an actual train name until you are either near or past the gates. But don't worry, if you can't find it, just ask an attendant. They can point you in the right direction. Now please note that the Shinkansen trains only depart and arrive at some stations, and these are usually busy ones. And since we are traveling on the Tokaido Shinkansen line, we need to check at which stations it will stop at. In Tokyo, those stations are Tokyo Station and Shinagawa Station. In Kyoto, it is Kyoto Station, and in Osaka, it is Shin Osaka Station. The Tokaido Shinkansen line starts at Tokyo Station and continues on south, stopping at major stations including Nagoya, Kyoto, and Shin Osaka Station. Shin Osaka Station means New Osaka Station and is separate from the actual Osaka Station, which is another gigantic station in the city of Osaka. It's just that the Shinkansen only stops at Shin Osaka Station. Step two, choose your train. On the Tokaido Shinkansen, there are three trains, the Nozomi, Hikari, and Kodama. Unless you purchase your JR Pass on or after October 1st of 2023, only two trains are included with the JR Pass on the Tokaido Shinkansen line, and that is the Hikari and Kodama. Even if you purchased your ticket on or after the 1st of October, in order to ride the Nozomi, you need to pay an additional fee. The Kodama, which means Echo, stops at every station along the way until you reach Shin Osaka Station, and it takes about four hours. The Hikari, which means light, takes about three hours to reach Shin Osaka Station because it has a lot fewer stops along the way. For our example, we will be taking the Hikari Shinkansen because it is the faster of the two bullet trains included with the JR Pass. Most Hikari Shinkansens are 16 car trains. By knowing the layout, you will be able to find your train car much quicker whether you are traveling unreserved, reserved, or first class, which is green car. Here's a typical layout. Cars 1 through 5 are unreserved, cars 6 and 7 are reserved, cars 8, 9, and 10 are green class, first class cars, and cars 11 through 16 are reserved. For our example, let's take the 933 Hikari Shinkansen from Tokyo Station. An interesting fact that can help you later, from 703 until 1933, the Hikari Shinkansen leaves Tokyo Station at 03 and 33 of every hour until 1933. So at 7.03, 7.33, 8.03, 8.33, and you guessed it, 9.33, the Hikari Shinkansen will leave at those times until 19.33. After that time, it varies, so make sure you check the time schedules. Also, the trains that leave at 03 have more stops, and once they reach Shin Osaka Station, they will continue on as the Tokaido Sanyo Shinkansen, which will continue on south towards Okayama. This is why we will be taking the 933 Hikari Shinkansen. It will have fewer stops, which means early arrival times at both Kyoto Station and Shin Osaka Station. And since our trains at Shin Osaka Station, we don't need to rush off because it is the last station on the Tokaido Shinkansen line. In Japanese, this is called Shuten, and you will definitely hear that word if you are on the train arriving at the last station. But if you do wait a long time, the cleaning staff will board and it might be kind of hard to get off the train at that point. From my personal experience, one time I was on the train too long taking video and I actually got locked in. Luckily, there was still an attendant on board who was able to let me out. Don't let that happen to you. The 933 Hikari Shinkansen will make the following stops. Shinagawa, Shin Yokohama, Odawara, Nagoya, Kyoto, and finally Shin Osaka Station at 12.27 p.m. And here's a side note. Regardless if you're traveling unreserved, reserved, or in first class, you can get off at any station along the way for no extra charge. For instance, on a whim, you decide to get off at Nagoya Station and explore the city for a few hours. And as long as it is before the last Shinkansen of the night, you can get on any of those Hikaris and it will take you to both 
Kyoto Station and Shin Osaka Station. But if you do this, please check the timetables as it can change at any time due to a number of factors such as the weather. Now let's talk about how the JR Pass works. Step three, decide if you want to travel unreserved or reserved. If you choose to travel unreserved, you can ride on any included Shinkansen at any time they are available. However, do keep in mind that during really busy times such as holidays or busy weekends, there may not be any seats and you may have to stand. So get to your platform early and make sure you are standing in the right queue for the unreserved cars. If you prefer to have a reserved seat, then you need to reserve your seat either through the JR ticketing office or through one of the dedicated machines. We recommend you reserve your seats when you pick up your JR Pass at the ticketing office. Traveling reserved means you will have an assigned seat in a specific car of a designated train on a designated time slot. Step four, get your JR Pass. Redeem your exchange order or confirmation at the JR ticketing office. If you can, we recommend picking up your JR Pass at the airport upon arrival. If this is not possible, we recommend that you pick up your JR Pass at a station at least a day before you plan to ride the trains because they can be very crowded and very time consuming. You don't want to miss your train. Again, if you decide you want to travel reserved, make your reservations at the ticketing office. You'll get your JR Pass, which looks like this, and your reserved ticket, which looks just like a JR Pass. If you choose to travel unreserved, once you pick up your JR Pass, you should not have to visit the ticketing office again. Of course, you can always change your mind and choose to travel unreserved and reserved on some trains. Now that you have your JR Pass, you can use it in unlimited time on the included JR trains, which is most of them. All you need to do is insert your ticket into the gate and make sure you retrieve it at the other end of the gate. Don't forget to get your pass because it's not replaceable. If you are traveling with any piece of luggage that is more than a combined length plus width plus depth of 160 centimeters, then you do need to reserve a dedicated seat on the Tokaido Shinkansen line. Again, the easiest way to do this will be when you pick up your JR Pass at the ticketing office. Also, no luggage larger than a combined 250 centimeters of length plus width plus depth is allowed. No exceptions on that. A side note, if you want to travel hands-free or just reduce the amount of luggage you're traveling with, you can use a service like Yamato Transport. We will leave a link in the description below. Your assigned seats will either be the last seats of the train car or there is a dedicated luggage rack compartment that is only for users who have reserved the dedicated seat. Only travelers who have reserved the dedicated luggage seats will be allowed to use those racks. And if you haven't purchased your JR Pass yet, we highly recommend Kluke. They make it very easy to purchase your JR Pass, free fast shipping, and a lot of different payment options. Link will be in the description. Step five, departure day, navigating the train stations. In Tokyo, you can get on the Tokaido Shinkansen line at two different stations, Tokyo Station and Shinagawa. Choose which station is closest to you. But if you are traveling on a holiday and you're traveling unreserved, then I recommend you only get on at Tokyo Station because it will give you the first opportunity to get on the unreserved car. Traveling unreserved is a free for all, first come, first serve basis. If you are staying at Asakusa or near Skytree, you can see that you are much closer to Tokyo Station. However, if you are staying in Shibuya, the better option would be to board the Shinkansen at Shinagawa. If this is your first time riding the Shinkansen, please get to the stations at least one and a half hours before your departure time because both of these stations are really big. Well, actually Tokyo Station is massive. This will allow you time to find your train platform, purchase some snacks or a bento box at one of the many convenience stores, and use the restroom. An important note, starting sometime in October, the train car service is gonna cease to operate on the Tokaido Shinkansen line. That means there will be no food sold on board. So you definitely wanna <laughs> purchase something ahead of time because it is either a three or four hour train ride, depending on where you're getting off. There's also some options for snacks and drinks on the platform, just not as large of a selection. The platform may be labeled Tokaido Sanyo Shinkansen. If you see this, don't worry, you're in the right place because some trains continue on from Shin Osaka on down south. From Shin Osaka on south, the train line changes from the Tokaido Shinkansen to the Sanyo Shinkansen and continues on down south to Hakata Station in Fukuoka. Once you're near the ticket gate or right past it, look for the departure boards. Look for Hikari and it will tell you the name of the platform. And if it's only in Japanese, don't worry, it'll change to English in a few seconds. Here are the platforms for both Tokyo and Shinagawa Station. Your train can depart at any of these. At Tokyo Station, the platforms are 14 through 19. At Shinagawa Station, the platforms are either 23 or 24. What happens if I miss my train? If you miss your train, you can hop on the next one and ride in unreserved. Remember, from Tokyo Station until 1933, there is another Hikari 
at 03 and 33 of every hour. After that, you can either look at the departure boards or ask an attendant for when the next train will be coming. Between this time, you're probably going to see a lot of trains go by, especially the Nozomi. But as you know, the Nozomi is not included until purchases from October 1st onwards and requires an additional fee. You might also see the Kodama, but don't be tempted to get on this train unless you are very close to your destination of either Kyoto or Osaka. Why? If you get on one of those trains, what's going to happen is eventually your train's going to stop at a station and sit for a while. Then you're going to hear this whizzing sound go by, and guess what? If you would have waited for the Hikari, there it went. It just passed you. Step 6. Arriving in Kyoto or Osaka. Assuming that you stayed on the train, you will arrive at Kyoto Station at 12.13 p.m. A few minutes before your arrival time, you will hear an announcement letting you know that Kyoto Station is soon and you should start preparing to get off. And you might also see that notice on the sign above. At this time, start by disposing of your trash and gathering all your belongings. Because as you know by now, these trains stop for a very short time, even at big stations like Kyoto Station. So if you want, you can begin lining up near the door. And once you arrive, if you're curious, check the time. If you're staying at an Airbnb and you cannot check in yet, downstairs there are numerous lockers. If you can't find one that is large enough for you, just keep looking. There are many lockers all around the station, and if you still aren't having any luck, just ask the station staff. Finally, there are many local trains that connect at Kyoto Station, and if you need to find a taxi or a bus, you'll find those downstairs. Also, there is a special foreigner taxi queue. However, even though that line is usually shorter, you might have to wait a long time for a taxi to come. If you're still on the train heading to Osaka, it won't be long because it takes less than 15 minutes to whisk you off from Kyoto to Shin Osaka Station. At this time, you'll probably see a lot of people start gathering their stuff to get off the train. I recommend you do the same. Once you arrive at Shin Osaka Station, chances are you will need to get on a local train to get to your final destination. Therefore, it's best to try to book an accommodation near the Osaka Loop train, which circles around the city. And that train is included with your JR Pass. Now that you have arrived, you can either take the Kodama or Hikari between Osaka and Kyoto. And to get everywhere else, such as if you want to go to Nara or even Wakayama, you can take the local trains or even look for express trains. And again, the Osaka Loop train is your friend since it goes in a circle and stops at all the major stops in Osaka. Step 7. Return to Tokyo. Regardless of where you end up staying in the Kansai area, which includes both Kyoto and Osaka, on your trip back to Tokyo, you will take the Hikari Shinkansen, just in reverse. And if you are feeling more adventurous, you can stop off at smaller stations along the way, such as Odawara, which will take you to Hakone. If you do want to get off at Odawara Station, I recommend the Kodama since it will definitely stop there. But if you check the schedules carefully, you will be able to find a Hikari that will stop at Odawara Station, and it will probably save you about 40 minutes. On your return to Tokyo, if you're leaving from Kyoto, the platforms will either be 11 or 12. If you are leaving from Shin Osaka Station, it could be between platforms 23 and 27. I'll link the timetables and the train stations below. This will help you travel anywhere in Japan using the JR Pass. Now here are some apps to install. You definitely want to have Google Maps installed because this is going to help you a ton when you're traveling on local transportation. Next, make sure you have Japan Travel by Navitime installed. This will tell you all the routes that are included with the JR Pass. And finally, make sure you have Google Translate installed and also download the Japanese language pack. This will allow you to access the Translate even if you don't have an internet connection. Speaking of the internet, if you need help choosing between a pocket Wi-Fi, a SIM, or an eSIM, we have a video on that too. We also have a recent video showing how we use the Tokaido Shinkansen on the same route with a few more additions. You might want to check that out too. We are a slow traveling family. We spend a lot of time in Japan and we have a lot of useful information about traveling in Japan and throughout Asia with a lot more coming. Let us know in the comments if you have any further questions or if you have any additional tips to add here. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.